Boom. Yo guys, it's a boy, a veteran. So today, another beautiful day. What we're gonna do is I'll be showing you guys how to do a muscle up. So basically, you're going to start from beginner's uh, level all the way to advanced, okay? So I'm gonna keep it straight, simple, and easy to show you guys exactly the way I do it because everybody has his own idea on how to do muscle up, but I'll show you guys, I'll keep all the bone shed, you know, apart, and then I'll show you guys the quickest way for you to actually um, develop your muscle up. So without that saying, you know, for me, it's always important. I always say warm up is essential. For you to start your, your workout, you gotta warm up. So we're gonna start with some warm up exercises and let's get it started. Like I always say guys, it's very important for you to warm up those joints, you know, because muscle up is all about technique. You want to get the joints nice and warm, that way you don't injure yourself or you don't pull the muscle, then it's going to take you a long time for you to recover. So, step one, what I like doing with muscle up, I always say, try to get a lower bar, okay? Because with muscle up, what you need to do is you need to learn how to carry your own body weight. So once you understand carrying your own body weight, it becomes more easy. So, we're going to start on a bar like this. Okay, from here, so you're gonna drop low and just push, okay? That's the whole idea. What I want you to do is, is to feel the weight of actually pulling up your own body weight, okay? So pretty nice and simple, from here, you jump and hold. You jump and hold. Jump and hold. So try and do it a couple of times, okay? see how it feels like and then um, if it's difficult just take your time on it try playing playing with it okay that is the first approach I started learning muscle up you know starting from the bottom jumping and then holding the second approach what I did is I start from on top here I jump up and then I learn how to reduce myself slowly from here step two jump slowly jump Slowly. That way, the reason I do that is I want to be able to feel the pressure on my tricep muscle and obviously on my on my wrist. Okay. So because we know muscle up, when you do muscle up, you need to, it's all about transition. The two places you feel it the most is wrist and obviously tricep. You know to lock in. So that's why the elbows always gotta lock in whenever you're doing a muscle up. So step three. Once you've done that, you know you started getting better guys this is the key right here this is gonna help you advance in your muscle up as quick as possible if you could get a resistant band so there are different levels to it obviously this is one of the thickest one and then you have the medium one and then you have the lighter one so once you get that it's important very important you put it around you tight okay that's pretty much simple for you to start with start at the bottom place your legs in between okay so while you do that what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to swing so we're swinging in and obviously rotating so you can see the swing and then you see me rotating with my arms so it's basically swing two three okay so i'm not gonna do a lot of repetition on that the reason being is um i want you guys to obviously you know, I don't want to make the video long and boring because I hate watching boring videos myself when it's too long. So this is the, the, the test step that I obviously do. And then the first step, I will get a bar that is a bit higher, okay? The reason being is, when you do this a couple of times, you feel more comfortable, always try to advance to go somewhere much higher. So what I do is try to get a bar, or if it means it's a stool or something that is, um, it's easy for you to be able to, to, uh, to get up the bar. Do it. So what you do is, I would recommend you start somewhere high from here, okay, on the side, and then you swing and pull, okay. You come back down. 
So I'll show you guys again. Get something high, or if you have something like this, you always have to um, improvise with what you have around you to see what is going to get you higher. So you get something higher, you climb up. When it's a bit high, you spring, and then you reduce yourself lower. Okay. So that's another step. Next, once you feel comfortable holding yourself, springing and holding yourself, I recommend again get your resistance band. Okay. Put it all the way up. Pull down. So while you're training with a resistance band, I obviously re uh, recommend for safety purposes, always try to get a partner that is obviously going to help you to go up and down or to even pull the resistance band. So like this is pretty hard. So I have to pull and skip. Whoa, that is hard. Okay. Yeah. So you see my technique right there. Another leg, I bring it in. Uh, now, now you understand why I say you need a partner. But I'll show you guys a little nice trick. Okay, that does not work. Yeah. Uh, now you see what I mean, right? So, you're keeping it real. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. You continue. So this is what I'll do. If you if you're alone, the trick does not work. <laughs> Let me show you exactly how you do it. So you go up the bar, make sure it's always close to you. Stick your leg in, and then you hold. That is the easiest part. So don't be a dumb like me. You know sometimes. So what you do is once you get your legs in, you wanna be able to swing. You wanna get momentum, right? So you swing to get momentum. Once you get that momentum, from there all you're doing is you go forward on your way backward, you pull. You see? Resistance, you swing, forward, pull. Two, swing, forward, three, swing, forward, four. Okay? Take your legs out and drop down. So, I've seen a lot of bad <laughs> mistakes people do. They come all the way in the back, uh, all the way down and they try taking their legs out and it doesn't work. So you want to be able to avoid that. And I always say people, their legs slip, it hit their conscious or it slip and hit them in the face. Safety first, guys, is very important. Once you feel comfortable with this now, so now we're going more advanced, okay? After maybe a few weeks, you get better. You'll be like, oh, you know something? I'm going to try this myself. Why don't you go ahead? Always push yourself. It's all in the mind. You, your own limitation. So then I'll, rec I'll recommend. Uh, guys, I don't want to see this. This is not good for your air, boy. You know, you're training one side of the muscle and then you bring in the other side. Let's avoid that. So I'll show you guys the technique. It's just with your knees. You kick your knees up and then you lock out. Okay? So this is what you do. You hold the bar. You swing forward. And kick. Did you see that? I'm gonna show it again. It's always, it's all about movement. You wanna get that momentum. So kick your hips when, you're, when your legs are coming, raise your legs, that way you go up. So. Ah, again. Ah, perfect. So now you start getting better. You're like, okay, I'll do one today. You stop. Do it, try not to do failure. You know, if you, you know in your mindset, you could do one, do one. If you could do two, do two. Okay, from there you build up with it, you become better. And then now, we're going to finish it up with some advance, okay? Once you get better, then stop using your legs. You know, you keep the body nice and straight. You hold the bar, and explosion. You drop down. Ah, okay. Ooh, so. That's basically it, guys. From beginners to extension, uh, <laughs> from beginner to advanced. This is how I learned it, guys. These are all the moves. There's no secret behind it. It's hard work, dedication, being consistent, be patient with yourself. Everything takes time, okay? So, they always say home wasn't built in a day. If you rush to do something, you obviously gotta get injury. So, take your time, go through these steps, you know, get more in tune with your body, learn the techniques properly. And I hope they get, uh, this, this helped you guys. So. If you have any comment, you want to know anything more,
leave a comment or definitely reply so till next time i'll see you guys i'm out Peace.